Kilimanjaro is a very special place because uh, of the Arabica coffees that are grown here. They contain a uh, very high quality in terms of flavor and aroma and they are distinguished all over the world. For us, uh, KNCU, which is Kilimanjaro Native Cooperative Union, was the very first cooperative to be fettered certified in Africa. So it remains as one of our model cooperatives within Tanzania. Fair trade is very important to small farmers, not only because they are getting premium, but it is very important because we are taking care of the environment. This is the initial stage where the, these polythene bags are prepared, which contain sand, manure, and forest soil. So this is the bean right here? Yeah. I mean that? Yeah, it comes up. That is a coffee bean? Yes. Okay. Now that's an ingenious idea. It's just a hose stuck in the thing. This is just a normal sprinkler, yeah. but... Yeah, that's a good idea. These were brought from somewhere. We have bought them. Okay. This is what we call leaf rust. Then. Oh, this is the leaf rust. Why, now, why did you buy uh, coffee plants that had leaf rust? So you didn't know? We knew, but we know how to control. Okay. So it's not a problem for us. This is a cutting which comes from the mother garden yep. with a resistant quality and other qualities. She's done this before? Yes. So she's it trimming it basically to take off so it, things can be, the, yes. so the energy can be consolidated? Yeah, and this seed, they cut Whoa. like that, so that is out. That is grafting. So, so it's good, it's ready to go. No yeah. chemicals needed the rest of its life. Yeah. Every buyer in USA, Europe, they're asking for fair trade organic coffee. And for us, we can see the demand is growing. That's why I think we, we need to convert more farmers into organic. You know, a system, it's other system that you are not given coffee until you get married. Really? So once you get married, <laughs> In, oh, in, Chaga, in, Chaga, in Chaga community, yeah. you cannot See, get land yes. until you get married. Until you get married. So that means everyone has to get married. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got married in 1968. 1968. Yeah. So in 1968, you got married and you got a, and you got land. Yeah. Did you start farming coffee? I started coffee? farming coffee. So when they brought uh, organic at our um, place, I was already an organic myself. You, know, the, you didn't even know you yeah, were already yeah, doing yeah, organic. Yeah. In terms of what percentage of our, of our farmers are doing fertile and uh, as well as organic, uh, it takes time to convert, uh, requires quite a lot of work and uh, there is quite also a strenuous um, verification process. But I would put it, for coffee I would put it at 30%. Yeah, it's just in Swahili we have to say Hodi. It, uh, in pressing, instead of pressing the bell or knocking the gate, you have to say Hodi. So the one of the house, they have to say, to replay Karibu. Karibu, it means welcome. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do it. Hodi! Karibu. So we can go in. Yeah. <laughs> we got his approval. <laughs> Small farmers, they are producing more as the aggregate comparing to, to plantation. Fair trade model goes to small farmers. To me, I think it's more favorable than the plantation. You don't have to be rich or to be big to make a difference in the life of the poor farmers, but just by exercising your purchasing power, you can make a difference. Look for the fair trade certified commodities and be sure that this farmer who grew your coffee or grew your tea or your chocolate has been fairly remunerated. He has money to, take, uh, to pay for the school fees of his kids. He has money to pay for medical care. He has money also to invest so that uh, that particular commodity will be there in future. It's the value that is being retained in Africa, how much money that the farmer can now make that previously he was not able to make.